Every weekend, this park in central Yerevan turns into a large open-air market. It's hard to miss one of the most popular items sold here, brightly colored, handmade Armenian carpets. Making them is a centuries-old tradition here. On the old Silk Road, local rugs were prized for their quality and unique designs. They still are today. Across Yerevan, I meet Aram, owner of an antique rug shop. This, this is Field Karabakh. It's about 130 year old. He shows me some of his older pieces. These can be worth thousands of dollars. From a uh, Western Armenia region. Typical in the Rihalma. Typical. Uh, that there are prostitutes inside. Yeah, I can the see field, the crosses. Yes, you see? Yeah, there. How much is this one? In charge as much. $1,000. $1,000 for this. New carpets aren't cheap either, but in recent years, Armenia's carpet weaving industry has fallen on tough times. And many here are now wondering if the ancient heritage will last. This is what Leonid Andresian calls an antique in the making. He's the production manager of one of Armenia's largest carpet manufacturers, Megarian. The family-run company opened in New York in 1917. It now has offices all around the world. This is a big part of Armenian culture, and yes, it's also part of our history. The process begins with Armenian wool. It is spun on Soviet-era machines. Everything else is done by hand. The yarn is dyed with natural ingredients and then woven with a unique double knot. It can take these women months to finish one carpet. This one's taken 10 so far. For most, it's more than a job. 57-year-old Pirus has done it for half a century. It's hard for me to explain, but I love the entire process, from start to finish. Carpets are everything to me. She's lucky to still have work, though. Sales at Megarian are down. The company's had to lay off more than 1,000 weavers in the past five years. Leonid blames falling demand since the economic crash in 2009. The carpet weaving business in general is a very difficult one because people will buy almost anything, even a car, during the worst financial crisis. But carpets are the last thing they buy. You really need to know how to sell one to make it. Oriental carpet weaving from the Caucasus to Iran is a multi-million dollar industry. One square meter can cost over $600. The crisis is still affecting Tufenkin carpets, another big local brand. Before 2009, they output 1,000 square meters a month. Today, production is down 90%. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm worried about it. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, thinking every day what to do, how to continue run a business for a company, and uh, how to produce, how to sell. Because if you produce and you don't sell, this is not a business. 
Making carpets by modern machines could make production cheaper, certainly faster. But that's not an option for Leonid. For him, handmade carpets are an investment. A handmade carpet itself, well, when you buy it, it has a certain value. Starting from that day, its price will increase. But if you buy a machine-made carpet, its price will go down from the day you buy it. Business will come back, he believes. Megarian plans to open two new production centers next year. They also want to hire more people to continue weaving Armenia's age-old carpets.